Good afternoon. This is Marsha. I hope you all had a very pleasant 4th of July. I did the 4th on the 3rd and I just, I laid really low yesterday because I was tired. And I learned after, <clears throat> excuse me, so many years of dementia caregiving, I promised myself if I was tired, I was resting, or I was sleeping, or I was going to take a nap. Because, boy, I think that about the last year of the caregiving, I was lucky, both of us, my wife and I both, were lucky if we got an hour of sleep a day. And it was tough. So I made myself a promise and I made Gaydona a promise that I would take care of myself. And that's what I'm doing. So I've been taking, I took it easy yesterday. And really, let me tell you, it is so hot in Florida right now. It feels like, the, like 104 in the afternoon. And it's humid because we've still had some rain that comes through. So that keeps the sauna alive and I was happy to take the day off yesterday. Today I'm really excited because I've been reading into uh, this new certification that I'll be getting very soon and I love it. It's very gentle and easy energy uh, with very yin vibe to all of it and it's very healing. So that was very pleasant. I really do feel like I have just opened up a whole new chapter in my life after um, a long spell. So it's very refreshing and I'm excited about it, but I've learned well enough that there's a balance to things and I'm going to listen to my body. I, I pushed myself and pushed and pushed and drug myself along through things and now I'm I'm going to be more attentive. I'm going to be a, a care receiver and receive my own good chi energy while I do these practices in my 100 day challenge. And I got to thinking some about seated exercising because I do most of my practice standing it's what I prefer but I'll tell you something about two weeks ago my big old galumphy dog Sophie um, I'll tell you I just clipped their nails and she has these really thick talons for nails they're not little nails of thin they're talons and she managed to step on my right foot with all of her weight concentrated through those talons right here on my foot and it made these two I swear it looks like I got bitten by something and they were deep punctures and it bruised the bone around there and the muscles a whole lot and it's still sore that was like golly almost two weeks ago now so I've been taking care of that, keeping it clean and making sure my feet get good circulation because that's what I was told to do by my cardiologist and it makes total, complete, perfect sense to me. So with that said, I'm gonna show y'all a few of these adaptations you can do from the moves you've seen me do standing. Um, one of them is kind of a very interesting one, starting at our feet. Um, first of all, I suggest you get a sturdy chair that has a very low back or no back to it. Because what you want to do is sit very close to the end and sit up straight. You want to feel your spine. You want to feel your little sit bones on the chair and your feet want to be about hip width apart your toes pointing straight forward and you want to be comfortable and then um, the one exercise we do on our neck 
is to like tuck our chin. And I want you to think about this from a little different perspective today. Instead of thinking about tucking your chin because then some people want to bend their whole neck down, that's not the move, it's real subtle. Now think about those two knobbies that you can feel on the back of your head. Those, push them up. Like you're stretching the back of your neck there. And when you do that, it automatically tucks your chin and it elongates your spine, uh, which we're still imagining that stretchy string running through from our tailbone all the way up to our neck, out the crown of our heads here. So even if we're seated, we can still have a relaxed, open chest, stretched spine feeling just by sitting on our sit bones, feeling them and relaxing in, into it, not slouching and not sway back, but just let our spines be vertical there. And our chests are open, we relax in this way. And this is how you can approach any of the exercises that you've seen me do standing in a proper seated position. So what I found interesting is one of the leg ad adaptations um, feels very different because it, it involves lifting your foot straight up and holding it for a few and then coming back down and then changing feet. And I notice that my tendency is I want to go back in my chair for the that back support. And if you're not feeling comfortable to do that, first of all, don't, don't feel like you have to totally straighten out your knee either. Nothing is locked and rigid. Remember, it's soft and gentle. So you just do the best you can with this, but try to keep in mind that straight string and feeling your sit bones there when you do it. If you need to even, you could scoop back just a little or if it helps you to focus on it, you can even put your hands on this leg. And do it. And rest when you need to. The other leg. Up. Hold it for a few. And down. And you can do about three repetitions of those on each side and then you can change it up again so that you're getting the internal and external rotation on it. So you, again, you can come up and put, turn your ankle so that outer edge, you're feeling your heel stretching outward and hold it and come back down. And the other leg. And down. And you can do three of those. And then you can change it up one more time. And you can do the other direction. So you're getting an outward stretch. And you feel all this in your legs, for sure. So this is why I say you can do all of these exercises seated and still get great benefit to all of the muscles in your body. And if you're just new starting out to this and your balance doesn't feel good, your chair is your friend, so use it. Absolutely use it. Now, and some of the hand arm movements we've done. Um, again, like you've seen me push on the wall over here. So we can change that up a little bit. And we start sort of in a prayer position. And then do your arm out and follow your thumb with your eyes. And bring your hand back around just on your kidney there and press on the wall a little bit but instead of a wall I want you to imagine something softer so you can press on your kidney lightly and then press on pretend you're feeling a screen door the screen is softer and it gives a little bit but there's still a little bit of resistance in there and then turn the other way. Or 
push. Exhale. Relax. Inhale. Lift the other way. Exhale. And back. Sit and relax. And then you can change hands. You can use slow, graceful, easy movements in between things to do it. It helps us stay in that one again energy flow. And do the same thing. some of the up, pushing out. And then follow. Look at your left hand, bring it around, over to this side. And they won't beat you then, and you want to be comfortable. Don't walk, just go as far as you're able to twist comfortably. And then you can even push that other arm forward get a stretch and then come back and bring this one in Find a comfortable pace. Always come back to center. Relax. Take that chi ball. all this way. So you can see that even if I'm sitting, my spine is still getting exercised. It's getting twisted. Gentle up and down, breathing motion on that elastic string.
So there you have a few you can do from a chair. Later. <laughs>